What's good, BFM? This is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions Beats and Feasts. You know what time it is. It's time for another cooking video. Today we're going to do a breakfast casserole with ham, sausage. Actually, it's like cleaning out the refrigerator. You can put a lot of things that you have in the refrigerator in it. But I'm going to show you what I did today. If you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. Let's get started with the breakfast casserole. So the supporting cast is pretty simple. Um, this is stuff that I always had in my refrigerator. Um, I'm using about six to eight eggs, depending on how large of a casserole you're going to make. Those probably be um, eight eggs in this one. I got some whole, or I got some russet potatoes I cut up in the pieces, about that small, pretty uniform. I want them a little bit smaller. I don't want them to be big hunks. Um, then I got one red bell pepper, and I got one. Um, onion there. This is a sweet onion and I cut these up very small too because I don't want a whole bunch of crunchy vegetables in mine but I do want them in there. They provide a lot of flavor. Um, and you can put whatever you want to. If you got green pepper, yellow pepper, whatever you want to put in there. Um, I'm using one pound of sausage. Um, just regular breakfast sausage and then I'm using a ham steak that I'm going to dice up and the piece is about the same size as I did the potatoes. Um, after that, a little bit of sour cream, some half and half, or you can use milk if you want. It's up to you. Any kind of cheese that you have in the refrigerator. I've got a couple different types. So I'm using a nacho blend, um, taco blend, and then I'm using um, some Monterey Jack. So any type that you have in the refrigerator that you want to get rid of. Some garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste, a little bit of oil. That's it. It's going right in the oven. I'll probably put a little bit of garlic in it too. But um, other than that, let's get started putting this together. Right, so first things first, we're going to brown off our sausage. I'm doing this to begin with because I want to saute my vegetables in the same oil that the sausage let off. So I put just a tad bit of oil in there for the sausage. Not very much. And we're going to saute that down. And in the meantime, I'm going to go over here and cut up my ham. But we're just going to saute this uh, sausage down. All right, so I got my ham out here. I'm just going to cut this up into little cubes, about the same size as I did the um, potatoes. Get a piece I can work with a little bit better. Yeah, just a little bit bigger. I want to have some some texture there, so not quite as small as the potatoes, but right around the same size. They're all about this size, about a quarter of an inch cubes. All right, guys. So the sausage is looking good here. It's almost totally browned up. We're gonna take that out of the skillet, and we're gonna add our vegetables in here and cook it in the same grease that we use for the uh, sausage. All right, in the meantime, let's go over and get our potatoes ready. All right, in the same skillet, I'm gonna add my potatoes in here. Now, you can very easily for this recipe use frozen uh, hash browns. I tend to not like the flavor of them. They're flavorless, in my opinion. So, I tend to cut mine up myself, and I usually use, um, you know, I can make hash browns by, by grating the potatoes or I just cut them in cubes. I like the cubes for this recipe a little bit better. So I put them in the skillet. I wanted to get them a little bit soft before I put them in with the casserole so the casserole doesn't take so long to cook. But, um, so we're gonna, I put a little bit more oil in here. We're gonna cook these down just a little bit. We don't wanna get them totally done because they'll be overcooked, but we do wanna soften, soften them up with just a little bit. Potatoes are looking different, so you can tell they're getting really soft. So we're just about done with these. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper, season them up, what I tell you about layering stuff. It's the way I like to cook. A little bit of black pepper in here. Some pink Himalayan sea salt. There we go. 
nothing worse than the bland potato. Make sure you season your potatoes up. And you can give them a taste just to see how they, you know, how much flavoring you want in them, how much seasoning you want. So we're going to go ahead and add our red bell peppers to here, to the skillet. And we're going to add our onions here, to the skillet. Now these aren't going to take very long because they're pretty small. So they're not going to take too long to saute up. We're just going to saute them up a little bit until the onions get a little translucent and they get a little soft. But I don't want to put those in the oven. It'll take a little longer to cook. So. so the onions and peppers are sauteing up nicely. I'm going to go ahead and season these. A little bit of salt, pink Himalayan. You know how I get down. A little bit of black pepper. Stir that up in there a little bit. So, as you guys probably know, and I've said it before on my channel, I'm not a professional cook. I'm just a good, um, passionate home cook, I guess we could say. But my mom was a chef for 35, 40 years. And watching her growing up in the kitchen, watching her cook, and then when she passed away, just learning, looking at different cultures, seeing how they cook, that's what helped me out. So, me saying this means what I'm getting to the point of is that cooking is about building flavor. So, whenever you cook your onions and your bell peppers or celery or whatever you're cooking, you're sauteing, you always want to flavor them or season them with some salt and pepper. It gives another layer of flavor. So, just a short story, but like I said, I'm not a professional cook. It's just the way I like to cook. So you cook how you want to, but I'm just giving you some a roadmap, so to speak. All right, so those vegetables are about done. All right, so we're back over here at the counter, and I got eight eggs in here. To the eight eggs, I'm going to add about a uh, cup and a half to two cups of half and half. And we're going to whisk this up. While we're whisking, we're going to add, we're going to season this while we're going. A little bit of salt, pink Himalayan. And a little bit of black pepper. If you guys have been watching my channel, you know I love my black pepper. All right, we're gonna add just a tad bit of garlic powder to this. All right, so we got our egg mixture there. We're gonna set this aside. We'll use that when we get ready to put it in the casserole dish. All right, guys, so the potatoes are in the, in the pan here, steaming hot. Typically, I wait till this cools down a little bit, but I don't have time today. So we're going to add some cream cheese to it. Forgive my arm. I'm sorry about that. Let me get one of those overhead camera setups. Maybe that might be a good investment. All right, so to this, we're going to stir this up just a little bit. Try to get all those potatoes coated a little bit. Nothing better than sour cream potatoes. And you'll see I'm going to add some cheese to this. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of sharp cheddar cheese to this. Like I said, I kind of cleaned out my refrigerator, so I have some sharp cheddar cheese to go with this. There we go. Gonna mix that up in there real good. The next step is taste it. Make sure it's tasting the way you want it to. It's important. To be honest with you, I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. 
not quite where I want it to be at. Now if you have high blood pressure, you know, cut back on the salt. But you cook how you want to cook. Don't let anybody tell you you're doing too much of this or too much of that. You know what you like to taste. Yeah, look at that, that creamy goodness. All right, I'm gonna give it another little taste. There we go. Salt, the cheese, the pepper, sour cream. All mixed in there. All right, I got my 13 by nine dish out here, Pyrex dish. And I've added my potato mixture to it. And we're just gonna even that out in the bottom. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo, this is gonna be good. All right, so we got that all nice and even. We're gonna come back and add a layer of our sausage and peppers. The sausage and peppers are onions and peppers. Get that all over. Get all these things out of here. All right, then we're gonna add some sausage. Oh my God, it smells good. All right, we're gonna sprinkle our ham throughout. Like I said, you can use whatever you want. You can put bacon in here, whatever you want to put in here, it's up to you. You can tell I'm a meat person, so I enjoy the meatiness of this. Next step, we're gonna add our sprinkle of Monterey Jack cheese over top. Look at that. Ooh, Lord. All right, and now we're gonna add our egg mixture. All right, so we're gonna evenly pour our egg mixture over this, forgive my arm like I said earlier. There we go. Make sure everything gets covered. And the very last step is I'm gonna add another layer of cheese to this. Just a little bit. This is my nacho taco blend. So it'll give me a little bit more color. All right, so I got quite a bit of liquid in there. So this is gonna take probably an hour to cook. We're gonna put it in the oven covered um, with some aluminum foil. On a 375 oven, you should already have that preheated. I should have told you earlier. A 375, probably gonna take an hour. I'll probably check it in about 45 minutes. And we'll come back and we'll have a nice breakfast casserole. All right, so here you go. It took a little longer in the oven because I had a lot of liquid in it. If you want to avoid that time, then just go ahead and put in um, less um, less milk or less cream or less half and half won't it won't take as long but this took about an hour and 15 minutes hour and 20 minutes or so to cook but it's all done it looks beautiful I can't wait to sink my teeth into it so I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up here you go the wonderful thing about this is that you can mix this all up and put it in the refrigerator overnight and cook it the next morning so you can pre-prep this. That's what's so great about this. But this looks awesome, so I can't wait to get this bite. And I put a little bit of salsa on mine. I like a little salsa, you know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, this is good. The key to it is make sure you build those layers of flavor. Season every part of your dish. Guys, 
If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, make sure you share the video. Hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.